This video will help you install the VNS2210 wireless controller. Before beginning your installation, please make sure to have the following items nearby. A marker, screwdriver, electric drill, ribbed plastic anchors, screws, and the level. First, let's get familiar with the VNS2210 connection. On the left side there is the DC power input, two strobe light outputs with polarity marks, two PA speaker outputs, and speaker level adjustment pot. On the right side of the VNS2210, there is the USB programming port, relay switch output to control electrical devices, audio output for wired PA system integration, and intercom input that can be connected to two-way intercom stations. The VNS2210 is designed to be installed on a wall indoors. It is recommended to install the unit above ceiling level for improved safety and look, but it can also be installed under the ceiling line. When selecting a location to install the VNS2210, make sure there is an AC power outlet within 12 feet. Keep in mind that attached speakers and strobe lights can be installed up to 150 feet from the VNS2210. Verify that the selected installation area is clear of any electrical and HVAC lines. If an AC outlet isn't available, an alternate power option is to use a PoE low voltage solution to provide power to the VNS2210 equipped with a PoE option. Hold the level under the VNS2210 unit to make sure it is straight and mark the location of the two mounting holes inside the unit eyelets. Using an electric drill, drill the marked mounting holes and insert the rib plastic anchors. Insert two screws into the anchors and screw them in until the screw heads are about a quarter inch from the wall. Place the VNS2210 unit on the two screws and tighten the screws into the wall to secure the unit. If the VNS2210 is equipped with a VS638 antenna, attach the connector to the BNC connector on top of the unit. Connect the VNS2210 power supply to an AC outlet and plug the power jack into the unit. The installation is done and the VNS2210 is ready to be tested. When testing with speakers, if the level needs to be adjusted, it can be done using the level pot on the side of the unit. 